Sierra is missing. I'm not surprised she's late. The instructors are probably all busy trying to figure out what to do. That seems more than likely. This morning's meeting has already blown past its normal ending time. It's still hard for me to believe all of this is really happening. Having been there, the idea that Corellia Fortress just vanished is difficult to comprehend. Not all of it, I heard. There's still some parts left and almost untouched. But Instructor Nightheart making it out of there alive is nothing short of a miracle. Those huge railway guns were part of the section that's gone too. If I hadn't been seeing the picture, it'd be kind of hard to believe. What kind of weapon is even capable of doing something like that? I find myself doubtful that any human could create something so powerful. We just don't know. All we do know is that it's impossible to make a weapon that powerful, even with today's most advanced orbital technology. And yet here we are, with just such a weapon in the hands of what's all always been seen as a mere vassal state. The Imperial Army has their work cut out for them, I'll say that much. I'm worried about what's going on in the capital too. It sounds like there have been even more demonstrations going on there these past few days. Down with crossbow, they say. Point our guns toward the east. Is there even any truth to those rumors that Calvard's planning an invasion? I'm pretty sure it's all nonsense, but considering how they've been, there's been tension between us and them for years, people are just more inclined to believe it. Rumors are just that. We need to be careful not to be misled by half-truths and speculations. If possible, we should find out exactly what's happening for ourselves. Yeah. Over the years, we've seen how things are across the Empire with our own eyes. Now is as good a time as any to put that knowledge to use. Well said. We've had quite the education in getting to the truth behind all the headlines. It seems to have been a running theme of most of our field studies. Still, we seem to be missing two of our illustrious members. Well, there's nothing strange about Crow's habitual truancy. Did he already transfer back to his original class? No, he said he was going to be us with us through the end of the month. As for Melian, though, I'm not sure. You don't think it's something to do with the intelligence division, do you? Well, she is an agent, agent of theirs. It's kind of easy to forget that, given how she usually is. It does concern me that none of us have seen her. <laughs> Sorry to keep you waiting. Oh, instructor. Are we starting home run? Not today, I'm afraid all classes have been cancelled. You can either stay here in the building and study until school's out, or go back to the dorm. So wait, has something happened? Not yet, but it will. Chancellor Osborne's going to be addressing the nation from Draco's Plaza at noon. It's set to be broadcast across the entire empire. A, a national address? Sounds pretty serious. Given the timing, indeed, it's not hard to imagine what's on his agenda. Come on, guys, straighten up. You're students of Thor's military, and that makes you all cadets. Whatever careers you choose, military or civilian, you need to know how to act decisively in an emergency. So right now, I don't want you to look away from what's happening in the world. I want you to face it. Will do. You're right. Now it's not the time to lose heart. As for Osborne's speech, apparently we'll be setting up radios in each classroom so the student students can listen to the national address. So if you want to follow along, be sure to hang here by noon. I suppose I might as well listen to it here. Same here, I don't even have a radio. I do, but for something like this, I'd rather not listen to it alone. Well then, we can all share in the joy of hearing the melodious voice of our esteemed chancellor. Maybe I should haul in some beer and snacks? That's the only way I'll stay sane through the entire broadcast. What should we do about Crow and William, though? None of us have seen either of them. Do you know where they are? Can't say I do. Girls practically made a career out of playing hooky. But I did see Millie on earlier. Oh, so she's still on campus? At least that means she wasn't called away by the intelligence division. I've been thinking along those lines, but when I asked her, she just shrugged and said, No news from the top. I doubt she's wandered off too far. Yes, but lest she forget, she excels at giving us the runaround. At least it doesn't sound like she's in trouble. We'll just have to tell them we're meeting here at noon if we run into them. Yeah, we'll do. 
I guess everyone's going to check in with their clubs. Looks like I have some free time. Might as well look for them. She's in the library, right? Emma? Don't look like. Or is she in front of it? Or is that Emma? That might not be Emma. That might be Toa. Who the hell is in the old schoolhouse? There's a thing here. At the, the the robot thing. Milliam? Oh, Rain! Come to take a sneak peek, too? Is this where you've been the whole time? You do know we have class, right? Oh. Dang, I knew I was forgetting something. Honestly. So what's picked your interest? Doesn't look like this thing has anything in common with Aragatlum. Hmm, I don't know. I can't shake the feeling that it might, at least a little. Not the same, but like they share some kind of underlying principle. I've got no idea what you're talking about. I guess you wouldn't really understand without being connected. But now it makes sense why Gramps asked me to keep an eye on this place, though. I had no idea there'd be something this cool down here. Wait a minute. Are you talking about Chancellor Osborne? Did he know there was something like this Not here? really sure. He just asked me to keep an eye on the building itself and said to let him know if anything unusual happened. Whoopsie! That was supposed to be confidential. So the Chancellor has an interest in our quaint old schoolhouse, does he? We did just find out that Captain Claire is a Thor's graduate, but... Hey, what you thinking about? Say, Milliam. Was investigating the old schoolhouse the reason you enrolled at the academy? Mm, well, sorta, but it was more of a side thing. There was a more important reason, but that kinda stopped being a concern. So I guess it's just this now. Something more important than this? I'm not sure what she's getting at. Doesn't sound like she's trying to hide something important from me, though. Oh yeah! It's almost time for Graham's speech, isn't it? I guess I should head back and listen to him drone on. Oh, so you already knew about that? We were all planning to listen in the classroom. Sweet! I'll just listen with you guys then. What are we waiting for? Let's go! <laughs> Nothing keeps you down for long, does it? Oh yeah, you haven't seen Crow around anywhere, have you? Huh? Nope. Is he cutting class too? 
Well, he's probably just hiding out somewhere hmm. on campus. Guess it'd be a good idea to ask around. Mind if I come with you? Be my guest. like someone there according to the freaking marker here. understand it because it says that the marker's here but there's no one here oh wait student union building oh was that what they were pointing at I guess it might have been like Machius and, the, and this person are in the student union building Oh, uh, 